One of my favorite movies of all time has always been American History X. Its unflinching and realistic look at racism in America is something that, in my opinion, has not been matched by any other film since. One of the many scenes in this movie that first pulled me in was when the nerdy white kid gets jumped by the black kids during the beginning of the movie. Telling teacher I'm fucking cheating? Is that what's happening? <sighs> I never cheated in my life. Peter's more fucking ass hand. But I didn't say anything. Why are you tripping on me? <sighs> now why are you all kicking me like that? What's up, man? What you scared for? I ain't gonna do nothing. What's up? Want some too, bitch? Huh? What's wrong with you? You wanna die? Punk ass white boy. The reason that scene sticks out to me is because I've seen things like this happen right in front of me. Unfortunately, on more than one occasion. Growing up in the type of environment in neighborhoods like I did, people who were considered weak or other were easy targets. We need to open our eyes. I also love Tony K's direction in this film. The black and white flashback scenes, I believe, represent Derek's worldview. That's how he saw things, quite literally, in black and white. I love how there are these extreme close-ups on the faces of the actors, you can see every little micro expression. You can see the emotions of each character. Just blame everybody, blame white people, blame society, blame God. I didn't get no answers because I was asking the wrong questions. You have to ask the right question. Like what? Has anything you've done made your life better? And I could never forgive myself if I didn't mention Ann Dudley's amazing musical score, which I'm proud to say is in my iTunes library. When it comes to realism in the movie, just listen to the dialogue. The dinner scene where the family discusses the Rodney King beating stands out. Bullshit. You know, it's exactly what happened in this trial, too, because the media twisted things around, so people got all focused on, you know, these cops and whether or not they were going to get convicted and whether Rodney King's civil rights had been violated. I mean, everybody lost sight of old Rodney King himself. I mean, the guy's a multiple felon. By his own admission, he's high as a goddamn kite driving 120 miles an hour down the highway. He gets pulled over by a bunch of cops and, and, and he attacks them. He attacked police officers. That's the bottom line. And he walked. Yeah, and there's some Yahoo there with a video camera who turned it on halfway through so that all we see is them hitting him. Exactly, you know, you got Yahoo. Replace Rodney King with Trayvon Martin or Mike Brown and you could have sworn this movie was written last week. And this is the type of films that I want to make someday. Films that are viscerally real. Films that show an unflinching truth about the world we live in. To this day, white supremacists use this film as a recruiting tool, completely ignoring the film's underlying message. American History X does not have a cookie cutter happy ending. The racist white guy who learns the error of his ways and becomes a good guy does not get to walk off into the sunset while happy music plays in the background. The things you do don't just affect you, they affect the people around you. Here's a quote from James Baldwin that I think greatly fits with this type of movie. People pay for what they do, and still more for what they have let themselves become. And they pay for it simply by the lives they lead.
I just wanted to thank you guys for watching. This is a video series that I plan on doing more of in the future. Uh, let me know if you guys like it. I didn't want to make some 20 minute video where I, you know, try to analyze every single scene in the movie. What I wanted to do was just look at the f films that, you know, have kind of stuck with me over the years and talk about them. That's what I want to do. Um, what did you guys think of American History X if you've seen it? Uh, thanks for watching.